Hi, this is Mike for Drapity, and today I'm going to demonstrate the fancy football, that's not right, the fancy baseball version of Drapity, and I'm going to show how to update uh, three sets of projections. Now, uh, this copy here that I have already open, um, I did a projection update last night. Uh, I know this one is not updated, so we actually have um, updates available for all four sets of projections, the ATC, the BAT, uh, Zeal and Steamer have all been updated, but they are not updated in this copy. Now, the reason for the video, it's a bit of a process to update if you want to update all three. Um, you may not use all three, you know, it kind of depends on your on your options tab, how you want to, if you want to use the weighted average for the different projections, but Drapity does hold three sets of projections, um, you know, and you can trick it into a fourth if you want to, email me. But the, the, uh, the three sets, you know, kind of are the first, you're on the hitters, tab, hitters data tab, pitchers data tab. The first set is in the first yellow section. This gets updated um, from drapity.com. And then there are two other spots for projections, which, you know, we kind of call this site A. Um, and then over here, past all the stats, is another yellow section we call site B and a third one called Site C. Uh, and those kind of line up with, on the Options tab over here, we have, you know, label for Site A, B, and C. And right now I have A, T, C, and A, the bad in B, and Zeal in C. But, as I mentioned, they're not up to date. Now, when you pull in projections, they only pull into Site A. All right, it's just easier that way. So that's why I say it's a bit of a process to update all three because what we need to do is uh, any one we update, it's going to go into A, and then we can push it into using these buttons here, we can push it into B or C, and then update another one. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and it's not, not too bad. I understand maybe a single button would be the way to go, perhaps, but, you know, sometimes they get updated at different times. Um, you don't always, like I said, if you're just using one set of projections, you don't need to update them all. Uh, just use the one. So, but anyways, let's, uh, if we want the thing totally updated, let's do it here. So, and let's keep them in the same order. We'll update the same ones. And I want, <clears throat> I want uh, A, T, C, and A, the bad in B, and seal in C. So that means we're going to start with, you know, B or C, because we're going to update those first and then push them into their spots in B and C. Let's start with zeal. All right. So I just selected with the drop down, check for update. Sure enough, there is an update available, as I as I suspected. And so we're going to update, yes. And it says it's going to put it in site A, which is fine. So it overwrites our current ATC projections. But we're going to update them after, so it's all good. It runs through the update, then prompts if you want to compile. Now, since we're going to update other ones, we don't need to do that. We don't need to compile each time. I'm going to hit no. And it skips that, and we're done the process. It's got the zeal projections now in site A. Right here. Okay. Oh, and you can see uh, certainly the player lives is full because it orders the players um, kind of by their player ID, older players first, typically. And, you know, but once it compiles, it will. Put them back in the right order across the board. So let's push zeal into C. I'm going to use this button, move site A to site C. Am I sure? Yes. And they moved. And that was it. Now let's update the bat. Okay, and similar, I could check for updates, see if there's an update. I can just straight update, check for update. <clears throat> Confirm it's there, it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Update away. And when we do these updates, it updates the ADP as well. It updates the prospects list. It updates the player position eligibility if those you know changed from the prior time. Updates the news on the hitters. Oh, I hit compile. I didn't want to do that. But it updates the news, which is on the hitters data and pitchers data tabs as well. They're on the far right. I'm going to pause the video and then come back 
you didn't need to hit compile there. I just kind of got into autopilot. Okay, resuming video, I think. The, uh, <laughs> I ran the compile after updating the bat projections. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to get to the third one first, but we updated. Uh, projections updated, yep, and compiled successfully, yes. Uh, so now you can see, because it did compile, the players look in a more appropriate order on the hitters data tab quickly. Here's the news I was talking about way off on the right. This gets updated every day on the site. Uh, the news gets updated automatically, gets the, you know, the pages that get pulled into Draft Buddy. Um, but, you know, it uh, it only pulls these in to Draft Buddy when you update projections with everything else. Anyways, so what do we have here? Now we have the bat in A, the bat, the older bat in B, and Zeal in C. Let's get back to what we tried to do. Let's get, so now we're going to move the bat from A to B. Okay, this is the updated projections. And that's done. And now the final step in our three set update process, choose ATC, check for update. Yes, let's update. I should read these. And this time we do want to compile. Because when you're done updating all three, had I not compiled in the middle there, you, know, you really do want to get them back into the proper order, create the cheat sheets based on the new projections you added or updated in DraftBuddy. Now this takes a little bit of time. The sorting hitters tab um, is a bit of a process there's a lot of players. Um, it has to go through and filter every position, um, every hitter's position, and determine who should be in the player pool, who should not. So this does take a bit of time. I do wonder too if my computer's running up a little slow because it's recording this video at the same time. I have I could use an probably an up, upgrade on the Windows computer. Once we get to the sort hitters. Then it's not too bad. We're still only talking about a minute here for this process. Or it's going to prove me wrong. Actually, I guess it's the compile hitter step, which is where it's filtering through all of the positions, see who should be in the player pool and who should not at each position, figure out their value. And there we go. And now we're into the pitchers. Create our cheat sheets, set up the other tabs for the draft. And it should jump us over to the overall tab, I believe. And there we are. Great. Uh, okay, so that is how to update all three sets of projections. They're all updated as of today. Uh, I do try to update them. Uh, at least once a week. Uh, it's usually been Fridays, as my work's been crazy, but uh, try to get them updated once a week. You can always come in here, hit check for update. I try to send newsletters as well <clears throat> when, uh, when an update is ready. Uh, so we all have the latest projections for our drafts. All right, thank you very much and take care.